Okay, so I literally just got the news, like, just now. <clears throat> so, apparently, the Broncos were forced to send Jeff Driscoll, Drew Locke, and Brett Rippon, Blake Bortles, actually, Dr Driscoll's been on the COVID reserve list. We were forced to send them all home. And instead of maybe delaying the game, pushing back the game, doing what should be done, Nope, the NFL has decided, no, let's, uh, out of fear of contact tracing, the Broncos will play with no quarterback. And again, Locke Rippon, uh, Bortles did not test positive, mind you. This is just out of fear of contact tracing, no quarterback. So that means Kendall Hinton, who played wide quarterback at Wake Forest, who is a practice squad wide receiver right now, will be playing quarterback instead. So let me get this straight. Certain teams get their games pushed back with just a couple positives. The Broncos, on the other hand, and again, none of them tested positive again, mind you, at least not that we know of. And we got to play anyway with no quarterback. <laughs> like, how is that fair? NFL, did you really have a plan for this? Just in case this happened? Did you really? Because I'm starting to think you didn't. <sighs> it's not even really worth getting that angry over. I don't even know how I'm going to recap this game. This is going to be like the weirdest thing ever. <laughs> how? How? The only positive twist I can get out of this is, hey, if you're a hockey fan, you know this. The Carolina Hurricanes won a hockey game with a 42-year-old backup Zamboni driver as emergency goaltender. So, who am I kidding? Um, at least the Saints, you guys get a nice win. I don't know what I'm going to get from this game. I don't even know how to feel about it. Like, I literally am filming this on my phone. I literally just got the news. Like, how did you not have a plan for this? Come on. So I guess we play without a quarterback tomorrow. Because that makes sense, right? Welcome to the NFL in 2020.